I had this video planned for a while now, but due to some unfortunate events, I had to put it on hold. However, this actually turned out to be a blessing in disguise, because if I had made this video when it was originally planned, I would have missed out on this incredible new feature which makes this device even more awesome than it was before. Before we dive in and talk about this new feature, let's talk about what I liked about it back then and how I used the Loop Deck Live S in my day-to-day -day activity. The first thing that comes to mind when thinking about a streaming controller such as the Loop Deck Live S is, well, just that, a streaming controller, used by streamers, you know, while streaming. But it's actually more than this. I personally use it every day and I'm not a streamer. I use it for basic tasks such as opening the browser, email, YouTube, YouTube Studios, OBS and so on. Basically being too lazy to double click, I choose to press a single button instead. But this is not the main thing for which I use the loop deck. I'm not that lazy to have a streaming controller just for that reason. <laughs> Okay, fine, I am that lazy, but the real reason why this thing is so valuable to me is actually editing. Of course, there are some special editing consoles out there and Loop Deck has some great products in that area, but if you are not a professional, you don't really need big intimidating consoles. You can do just fine with the small but powerful Live S. Now, I'm primarily a DaVinci Resolve user, I don't flock from software to software depending on the season. I do some After Effects once in a every blood moon, but 99.89% of the time is DaVinci Resolve. And that's why I customize a page in Loop Deck to match and improve my workflow in this editing software. I personally don't need much. I don't do a lot of color grading, fusion or fairlight because my videos have no visual effects or heavy editing. So therefore I don't have shortcuts for these things, but what I do a lot is cutting, trimming and deleting for both audio and video. Probably 60 or 70% of my entire editing process is just that. And that's what I designed this console to say like this to do for me, to be a great help while cutting my footage and save me enormous amounts of time. I have all the shortcuts I need at my fingertips, I set the dials to work with the timeline and so I barely use the keyboard and the mouse during this entire process, sometimes not at all. Of course, I don't think that I have to tell you that you can use it with basically every photo and video editing software out there. You can check out the marketplace for all the packages or plugins because the more you look, the more you will realize how much you can actually do with the Loop Deck Life S or any other Loop Deck device. Now, this is what this video was originally about, me explaining how good and reliable the Live S is for editing and that everything you need could fit in this small package. Of course, I would have talked more in depth about it, explaining everything you can do, and who knows, maybe I'll do this someday, but right now, Ain't nobody got time for that. because we need to talk about that new thing. So, while recording for this video, I noticed something in the marketplace, something called Loop Deck AI Assistant powered by OpenAI. And I know, I know, AI is not that new anymore, so no big deal, right? Well, wrong. It is a big deal, because you can have AI at your fingertips. And the way it works, it just makes everything seem so seamless, so fluent. It just flows. It makes you feel like this is the way AI was meant to be used. Why going on a browser, opening ChatGPT, telling ChatGPT what you want it to do, give it an example of what you want or what that end result should be, when you can just do this instead, one button. You want to ask AI? Select the question and press one button. Simplify text? Select text and press one button. Correct grammar? One button. Improve style? One button. Translate? One button. How to? Well, you got the idea. The point is, it's just that easy and fast and that's what it's all about. Being fast, fixing, resolving, improving our workflow, cutting out the boring, time-consuming parts. That's why AI is such a big hit and now with this it just got even bigger. And the options are plenty. Seriously, I haven't yet encountered something that I need from AI and can resolve with the simple press of, yeah, you got it, a button. You have more than enough options, from the basic and most used, all the way up to options like apology for a delay, apology for a mistake, reply positively or negatively to an email, of course in a polite manner, even write a sonnet, write a song, or write in different poetry styles. And if you are into programming, then you get a treat because you have no shortage of options. You can write, or better said, the AI can write for you functions and programs in C-Sharp, Python, Java, or Swift. 
As I said before, the Loop Deck Life S was a device that I used daily despite not being a streamer and which saved me a great amount of time while editing. But now, with the AI Assistant having all the ChatGPT power at your fingertips, it just transformed itself into an invaluable device. The type of device that should be on the desk of not only content creators and streamers, but anyone who works in front of a computer and wants to speed up its workflow. What was once a device solely for streamers can now be used by anyone regardless of the profession because with a new AI assistant, Loop Deck Live S will definitely find a way to speed up and improve your work. That's it for today's review. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more tech reviews. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.